Hi, my name is Dr. Scott Resnick. I'm a practicing endodontist in Manhattan, New York. From the beginning of modern endodontics, we have relied on the radiograph as a critical part of our diagnosis, prognosis, and of course treatment. Today we have an additional tool that has quickly become the standard, and that is cone beam computed tomography, or CBCT. Regarding the importance of this technology, the American Association of Endodontics and the American Academy of Oral and Maxillofacial Radiology issued a joint position statement on when CBCT should be employed. This paper starts out by telling us when CBCT should not be used. It said CBCT should only be used if the patient's history and clinical examination demonstrate that the benefit to the patient outweighs the potential risks. CBCT should not be used for endodontic diagnosis or for screening purposes in the absence of clinical signs and symptoms. The clinician should only use CBCT when the need for imaging cannot be met by lower dose two-dimensional radiography. Lowe, Dula, and Bergen et al. compared periapical radiography and limited cone beam computed tomography in posterior maxillary teeth referred for apical surgery. They found that 34% of the lesions were missed by periapical radiography and virtually no lesions were missed with cone beam computed tomography. So how does this bear out in the real world? Well, this patient presented shortly after a traumatic injury to the maxillary anterior teeth. You can clearly see a slightly widened PDL on tooth number eight and radiolucent lines indicating possible fracture. It does not tell us the extent of the likely fracture and does not tell us if it is buccal or lingual. It does not tell us a lot of things because it is a two-dimensional picture of a three-dimensional object. But when we take a cone beam, we can clearly see the extent of the fracture line. We see how far below the crest of the bone it extends and whether or not to even attempt treatment, saving the patient time, pain, and of course, money. Today's patients have higher expectations and are more knowledgeable. And as clinicians, the more we know, the more responsibility we have to give them the treatments they deserve. Mm -hmm.